Tonight on Sports Web, we have highlights from the hardwood. The diamond. And either the evil badminton court. Either the later, we'll have scores from either the lions, the tigers, and either the evil bears. Oh my! We're getting an update from the most dangerous of extreme sports competitions, the X-Ray Game. It's been a treacherous competition this year. Taz has set records in boarding. Viking! And... <laughs> Belching. They should call that guy the Tasmanian Daredevil. <laughs> Let's look at some highlights from yesterday's skyboarding semifinals. And the next up is uh, yeah, Yosemite Sam. I'll jump when I'm good and ready! Who's laughing now, Varmin? Mm. Oh, day four down, go boom! In and in, next up. <laughs> Exclusive footage from me today, today's anvil catch. <laughs> Putty tat. And, and next, uh, we'll check on uh, the, uh, the squash championship. Thanks for watching Sports Plan. Sports Blab. We'll give you all today's sports news in three minutes. First, let's check out today's highlights from the the, the Diamond. Oh, how pretty. Meanwhile, in baseball, Taz performed a triple play. <laughs> Hey, this guy's killing me. In football, with the three seconds remaining, a Cleveland Clucks quarterback, if the Foghorn Leghorn was a clothesline. If the, this just in, if the, there's been a flag on the, if the, the play. To be, or... On the ice, Albuquerque Angel Center Elma Fudd got his first career hat trick. We didn't say it was a good hat trick. Later on, Elmo was called for icing. Now for the b, 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 b ball highlights. <laughs> Meanwhile, in basketball, the, the, the Sheboygan Bratwurst were given a, a, a technical foul. <laughs> The square root uh, of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of a two-sided uh, isosceles hippopotamus weighing approximately 5,375.437 kilograms. Uh, join us after the break when we'll speak with this year's international v uh, v uh, badminton team. And we'll show footage of Triple Crown winner Seabiscuit winning yet another race by a whack. It would have been a uh, photo finish. Uh, but, the, but the cameraman uh, did it draw, draw, uh, did it draw, uh, uh, couldn't swim. And finally, we'll check in on this year's drag racing final. Ooh, that's it! Them varmints is making this stuff up! Let's get off! <laughs> that's all! <laughs> 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 
Senatorium, we present a chef of incredible talent, infinite skill, and very little hair. Master Short Order Chef, Elmer Fudd. <laughs> Welcome, Chef Fudd. Tonight, you will be facing Aluminum and Aluminum Chef Yosemite Time has come to unveil tonight's main ingredient. Hey, this ain't the parking garage. -y. How to tenderize rabbit. First, put on your pulverizing gloves. Good amazing. Cook a mallet, fricassee, and hatchet. <laughs> Aha! Pulverizing gloves. Gently rub the rabbit's back with circular motions. <laughs> that's nice, but a little higher. Ooh, ooh, that's it. This sure is a gold darn complicated recipe. Don't forget the exfoliating seaweed wrap, Doc. You're my ingredient now, Rabbit. You're the cook, uh, I mean, cook, Doc. What's that squirrely rabbit up to? It smells like fish in here. That shark's gonna have fud breath. <laughs> No more tricks, Rabbit. I'm a gonna season you with extra hot Texas Pacati sauce. And Volanto would be better. Huh? What's a uh, and Volanto? And no. Uh -oh. Now, here are our two exquisite dishes, Yosemite Sushi, and for dessert, Elmer Fudge. Congratulations to our newest aluminum aluminum chef, vegetarian Bugs Bunny. <laughs> What's cooking good looking? to Acme Kids Sanatorium. Chef Sylvester, a master of Catanese cuisine, dares to try to defeat one of my aluminum aluminum chefs. He will fail. <laughs> Welcome, Chef Sylvester. Tonight you could be facing Aluminum and chef vegetarian bonnet. What's cooking, Doc? Or aluminum and chef Chinese Tweety. I challenge Tweety. Now it is time to reveal tonight's ingredient. Rare. Imported. Northwest. Southeastern. Peruvian. Pygmy. Miniature. Baby corn. Now. The chefs will select the corn they wish to use in today's Anybody got any moisturizer? Let's check in on Chef Tweety. If 
a wonderful bed of lettuce. Let's look in on Chef Sylvester. Let's go back to Chef Tweety. He appears to be preparing a cornbread waffle. Now it's time for our celebrity judges to pick a winner. Vote will be the tiebreaker. <laughs> if you ask me, they all stink. What you're about to see may make you laugh, but it is guaranteed to make these boys cry. Welcome to Tear Factor, your meticulous scientific testing. <laughs> we have determined the methods most likely to make these nice young men cry like little babies. Here is your challenge. You call this a challenge? I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. Oh, ah, oh, hey, oh, ah. Is that all you got, Razor? You couldn't shave the fuzz off a pig. Go, girl, frostin', rotten, ribbon, mountain, frostin', rotten, rotten. It took me 20 years to grow that lip warmer. <laughs> For this challenge, just pull that rope. I am not crying. Can we talk about this? Why does it always have to be snakes? Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> tastes like chicken. Daffy has a super hot jalapeno sandwich. Sam has a slimy insect grub sandwich. Mmm, <laughs> that's some mighty fine grub. Tastes like chicken. Sylvester has a finger sandwich. <laughs> made with his own finger. <laughs> Congratulations, you won! Well, I never won anything before in my, my whole life! <laughs> <laughs> I told you we'd make them cry. The coveted Golden Anvil. First prize for the winner of the Burbank to Vegas Desert Rally. Right now, all three teams are putting the finishing touches on their high-performance racing machines. Be right back after these important messages. 
when it's my turn to drive. Give me that, you itching hairball! I said no eating until after the race! Buckle your seatbelt. It's gonna be a bump for your eyes! Ooh, that reminds me. I'd better get to Vegas, too. My, uh, bookie closes in 15 minutes. Talking. I seen this in a Burt Reynolds movie. License and registration, Pete. What seems to be the problem, officer? Professional drivers wear flame retardant fur. Now he tells me. You will be in Las Vegas before you can say you put your black into they're gonna be tough to catch. 
Well, at least we're still ahead of those other losers. Hey, Sammy! I think our cars got stuck together. Uh, would you mind backing up a little? I ain't a back it up at all. Lesson huh? Buster, you ran into us. Huh? Now back up and give us the right away, or there's gonna be trouble. Ooh. <laughs> How silly of me. You had the right of way. Now start a jumping. No, 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 you idiot critters. When I says jump, you says how high. I'm glad I'm on your side for a change. I thought I saw a helicopter. I did. I did see a helicopter. See you at the casino, Dino. Invested in me. I pronounce you hitched. Huh. Those suckers never had a chance. Nothing can stop us now. Who, what, where, how? If we're up here, I wonder who won the race down there. Real cases involving real cartoon characters. All decisions are final. Mr. Cat, you are suing this bird for pain and suffering with regards to the destruction of your place of residence. The little twerp tried to kill me. Ooh, that old putty cat is whining. Put a period on it. If you two can comport yourselves, I'm sending you straight to the pound. Mr. Cat, what were the circumstances surrounding this incident? Your Honor, I was only trying to be kind to poor dear little Tweety, but my every good deed was met with vicious acts. Hey, little buddy old chum old pal, I've got a surprise for you. I'm tired of you being so kind to me, putty tat. So I'm gonna blow up the house. <laughs> oh, brother. You think I just fell off a turnip truck? What's your story? Well, Judge Dwayne, that mean old putty cat is always trying to eat me up. Hey, little buddy, old chum, old pal. I've got a surprise for you. Nobody's home. Come out of that cage, you little giblet, or I'll blast you! <laughs> what are you doing, Putty? Get away, the putty tat. I told you I wasn't home. Ha! No one's gonna swallow that self-serving slop. I have heard enough. I'll be back in a minute with my decision. I can't. 
help in this way. Putty tad. He go. Real cases involving real cartoon characters. All decisions are final. Reckless endangerment, criminal negligence. You're saying the defendant did all of this, correct, Mr. R Wiley Coyote. Super genius, Esquire. Also, DDS, PhD, and... Put the period on it. Why are you here? Uh, well, well, you see, Your Majesty. He only speaks Roadrunner. I'm his translator. Interpreter, that is. Meep, meep. Can't get a word in edgewise. Begin, Mr. Coyote, and keep it brief. Well, Your Honor, I contend the Roadrunner has ignored the intended lethality of this Acme merchandise, committing numerous violations of... In English. He won't let me catch him. Prove it. Allow me to demonstrate. Meep, meep. Objection! I say objection, Your Honor! Overruled. Continue, Mr. Coyote. Yeah! <laughs> Don't even think about it. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Can we take a recess? It's as clear as day that the predator in question, while given opportunity galore, cannot conclude the hunt. It's as clear as X marks the spot! The defense rests! Your honor. Zip it! Don't even try it! According to the Fair Play Bylaws, the Roadrunner is obligated to linger at least momentarily in Mr. Coyote's traps. Seeing that the Roadrunner has not lived up to his end of the bargain for many years, I rule in favor of Mr. Coyote. <laughs> Mr. Coyote, you may now eat the bird. I say, beep, beep! Real cases involving real cartoon characters. All decisions are final. Bud versus duck. Now, where is that duck? Not in there. <laughs> Anybody see the duck? I a handsome. Bud alleges harassment, assault, invasion of privacy, and square dancing. That's a lie, Your Honor. A goddamn silly lie. You see what I'm up against, Your Honor? Just the facts, cue ball. I haven't got all day. I was in the park, minding my own business. <laughs> Waiter! Waiter! What's the guy gotta do to get some service around here? I'll have the crepe sous uh, the Chateaubriand, uh, the Dom Pérignon du Bonfon, and uh, don't be stingy with the gravy, bub. Chop, chop. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Duck. All I have are these bread crumbs. Ice cream! Ice cream! I want ice cream! Ice cream! Wait here. Right back. <laughs> I want a triple scoop of pistachio uh, with a banana and a cherry and caramel sauce and nuts. I 
thought I'd never get rid of that squooey duck. You're out of chocolate syrup. <laughs> What are you doing up there? Delivery far around back, my good boy. Run along now. Why I'm suing him for trespassing. <laughs> Objection, Your Honor. Badgering the witness. I have heard enough. It is my ruling that you two need to work this stuff out together. I sentence you to three months of cohabitation. <laughs> 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 I like him. He's silly. can I say? It's Warner Brothers. Only one will last to be found. The Toon Maroon. <laughs> Welcome to Festeroon, the malaria capital of the world. For the next ten episodes, these guys must live and work together like a tribe. <laughs> you mean old putty tag? <laughs> Every night they gather at Toon Council where they must vote someone out. I'm forming a secret alliance. Like I said, we vote off everyone else until we're the only ones left. Secret alliance forever. Then I'll dump these losers. I'm winning the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Mother. We, uh, decided to skip the games this week. All anyone cares about is who gets voted off. <laughs> Let's tally the votes. Regis Philbin? I don't want him on this island. Uh, I told you we should have made fun of who wants to be a millionaire. Today, our tunes will compete for the Immunity Anvil. That means the winner can't be voted off the show tonight. All right, gang, listen up. You race down the beach, you pick up the bucket, and you run it back here. The winner gets immunity. Ready, set, go. Boy, fetch the stage. Hey, who is it? Turn out the 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 the
A lady first. Oh, thank you, young man. <laughs> Me. Woohoo! I win, I win! Nice work, Doc. You get the anvil. I have immunity. Hooray! Now you guys must vote someone off. So tonight we're gonna try these butterfly battles. Yeah, sorry, Granny. The tunes have spoken. Well, I am contesting this vote. You young whippersnappers, how dare you! I will have 50 lawyers here before morning. Oh, a cruise! <laughs> so long, suckers! Bon voyage! See ya! Uh, one down, eight to go. The weather here in Festeroon can be mighty unpredictable. Good job last week voting Granny off. Tonight we'll pick another loser and give him the boot. Get lost, bub. This week our castaways will use this ju uh, uh, building materials to build emergency shelters. The one with the best shelter wins immunity tonight at Toon Council. Good luck. And go. No, I say no, boy. You're doing it all wrong. That's no way to build a coconut hut. Let me show you how it's done. Shoddy workmanship. I'd like to see the storm that could knock this baby down. I'm only three and a half years old. <laughs> you'll never get, I say, you'll never get a shelter built laying around all day, boy. You ask me, that boy's about as sharp as a sack full of wet mice. <laughs> I'd better get rid of this before somebody gets hurt. <laughs> Nobody gets immunity tonight since all the emergency shelters fell down. Good luck. Foghorn. 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 Eh, sorry, Foghorn. The tunes have spoken. It was unanimous. I, I was robbed. I say, eh, robbed. I want a handwriting expert. There was forgery going on here. They wouldn't throw me off the island. Me? Why would they do that? I say, no, no. Negative, that is. Today's immunity contest involves catching and eating your own food. <laughs> Capture the rat, bring him back, and eat him between two pieces of bread. Ready? This show is going downhill fast. Go! I almost feel sorry for that stupid rat. 
Congratulations, Tez. You're the winner. A regular gourmet. Porky Pig. What? That's the way it goes, Porky. That's preposterous. The tunes have spoken. Another loser out the door. And good riddance to that crummy rat, too. That's all, folks. You've been getting mighty bossy since we started this gold darn alliance. We'll just see who's still around after tonight's vote. Our castaways have been randomly paired off for today's sandcastle competition. Ready, set. <laughs> <laughs> Time's up. Let's see what you got. Primitive, but I think you're on to something. Taz and Elma are the winners. And here's your prize, a delicious 12-course meal. <laughs> Time for someone else to go. Ready? Vote. <laughs> Sorry, Sammy. The tunes have spoken. It was that double crossing pole cat of a duck. All tar and de feather him. <laughs> you know, sometimes I almost feel sorry for that duck. Placed a few items. <laughs> the first one to find and bring back an item will win a t shirt. What? No immunity? A t shirt? I, for one, prefer to go au naturel. <laughs> Ready? Go!
You guys better go. I got a feeling this is gonna take a while. swim to really get the old circulation going. Today's challenge is to catch a fish with your bare hands. Congratulations to Tweety for winning. Time for someone else to go. <laughs> and that's nine votes for Elma. Sorry, Elma, the tunes have spoken. When it rains, it pours. Final four. They must be starving by now. I don't like the way he's looking at me. Gross, <laughs> ducky. <laughs> Against the rules. We can't vote him off. He's the host of the show. Today, we're gonna have a little roundup. A snake roundup. The first one to bring a snake back to the beach wins immunity. And only 99% of them are poisonous. Ooh, I thought I saw an anaconda. I did, I did see an anaconda. Three-way tie for immunity here tonight. Sorry, Tez. No snake, no immunity. You're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> To 
today's challenge is an obstacle course. First, swing over the water hazard. Then, tiptoe through the Festeroon hot springs. A couple of horse to oeuvres at the Wheel of Exotic Cuisine. A quick jaunt across the finish line. First one across gets immunity. Just make sure the canary doesn't win immunity. Then it's you and me in the finals, pal. You the man now, duck. I got a bad feeling about this. One for the money. Two for the show. Three to get ready. And four to go! Give you such a pinch. Now, how'd I get in there? <laughs> hmm. Okay. My principles. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Did I forget to mention the minefield? Congratulations to Tweety, who has won immunity and gets to vote off the tune of his choice. Sorry, Sylvester. Tweety has spoken. Why me? What did I ever do to you? Yeah! Oh, the poor putty tag. He fly up in the air and go, boom! This is it. Only two tunes are left. We were going to have everyone who was voted off the show return to decide the winner. But they all said they had better things to do. It isn't about strategy, Dave. It's about sticking it to the other guy. So we'll have one final contest. Winner take all. It's a race to the top of Mount Festeroon through the Caverns of Peril. First one to touch the idol on the top wins. Ready, go! Blue. Um, seven. Ouch. Ooh. I know this one. There's only room for one winner. 
It's mine. Mine, 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 mine. I want it all. I said, touch the idol, Daffy, not move it. Who has dared disturb the slumber of the mighty volcano god? Well, folks, that's a wrap. <laughs> Hey, I wonder if that second tribe made out any better than you guys. Boop, 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 boop.